cooking it directly inside the tomato sauce, right? Always. Do you like a little bit of chili pepper? Yeah, let's make it spicy. Spice up my life. Thank you. No, no sign that you're going to be increasing these prices anytime soon? Really? So, yeah. We, we did it on purpose to have only one product. Yeah, yeah. So we could have a fixed price and never, never uh, have to bring it up, right? Right, right. And next, uh, what is it? Next year, you're going to be 10 years? 10 years, next year. Yeah, 10 years for the tomato sauce, uh, 5 for the gnocchi. This is our fourth summer for them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, how did it took you four, four years to get the gnocchi happening? Not happening. The thing is that we weren't supposed to do this at the beginning. For us, the main product that we sell is the tomato sauce. Okay. And so we got like, recruited, recruited by a local food footwear in yeah. Montreal. They wanted to make the people taste our sauce. So at the beginning, we were giving them like cups of sauce. They would try with the bagels, and then it got really complicated. And it was like it was never, you know, they would come in with all the, they would make a mess with the bagels. And it was a happy press. So then my dad had the idea of doing the gnocchi yeah. in the tomato sauce as a tasty. Right. And so the regular clients were passing, and they wanted to buy as well okay. portion. So that's when we like really initiated the project with the. And how much is this sauce actually going for? Ten. Ten? For a liter, and it keeps for a year. If you don't open it, I'll get cash for Um. <laughs> accept and cards. Cards? If ever you want to pay with cards, I always accept the cards. But you're sourcing everything here from, from Reggio Calabria, though. Yes. Uh, which is super exciting for me because I just got back from there. Nice. Where'd you go? Uh, specifically to Reggio Calabria. Okay. Uh, down there, and then also went to Tropea and all the nice little beach wow. areas, but honestly, it's Stuff like this. Our um, our little uh, village in Reggio is called Oliveto. Okay. And so we have an olive it's oil. Oliveto is very small. There's maybe like 50, uh, 50 persons of it in the, the little village. Okay. And this is from exactly where we are. Oliveto is called. And how much is this? Like, I have money. Okay, so I have to make up lots of money. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, pure in Australia. This, this, that's the money shop right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was super exciting, but the thing is, honestly, the time where I ended up actually eating honest to God food like this that yeah. didn't use more than eating ingredients was far better than any Michelin restaurant that I went to. So I just wanted to thank you. More action. So the tr trick is, the good thing about them is they're cooking the gnocchi inside of the tomato sauce, and that's what's making it. Roasted garlic, caramelized onions, basil, olive oil. I'm not tasting it and telling it. I mean, I, I know these things. And uh, it's stewed tomato. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
plain and simple as it gets. That's the good thing about the cuisine. That's why I think some people have a problem with like when they have to pay upwards of like twenty-two dollars for, for pasta. But the time it's it's all about time and effort. It's not about you gotta get good ingredients and you put the time and the effort to actually make the dish. I mean, that's all you need. That's what you're paying for. So that's why it's amazing that they're doing this. Bucks. Somewhere across town, somebody's charging the exact same for charging something like 20 bucks for the exact same dish. Uh, oh, I want to be kind to everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Salad's only the yellow one. Yeah, okay. Good to know.